What's up, campers? We've been noticing that when we've been sleeping on our Climate V insulated double V that halfway through the night, it's like losing almost half the air. It seems to be getting worse and worse. I went on a solo trip um, in the desert and it was cold and it was really bad that time. Um, I usually wake up in the middle of the night and just inflate um, and check the valves and they've been fine, but we've still been losing air. So I actually found the hole. So let's go over how to find a hole in a sleeping pad. Um, one of the ways you can find it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a spray bottle, preferably the kind that makes like a fine mist like this and fill it with maybe, you know, two pumps, one pump, one to two pumps of Dawn soap, the rest with water. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray the sleeping bag and this is what you're gonna look for. So I usually start around the seals of the inflate and deflate. Um, what you're gonna do is basically just spray this soap and water mixture and you're gonna be looking for bubbles. Not these bubbles that are going away, but bubbles that are actually growing. So not like that. I'll show you what it looks like because I actually already found the hole. See, and if you spray around here, you're not really seeing any growth, but let's see where I actually found the hole. You'll see what it actually looks like. I already marked it with a pen right here and I'm waiting for it to dry, but I figured I'd show you guys because a lot of people might need to know this. Watch what this looks like. So it's right in there. Watch this. Immediate bubbles bubbling up that won't stop. And if you wait for it, it'll get into a big bubble. So let's give that a couple sprays, let it bubble, and I'm just gonna keep going really quickly. I'm pretty sure that one's it, um, but I'm hoping we don't have another one somewhere. After this, it's good to just you know rinse your mat down with clean water, but this is actually good to even just clean the mat, you know? Good way to clean it and make sure that there's no other holes. Usually what happens, it is around the seams, I guess. See, look at that now, that big bubble colony grown there. So I'm gonna keep going in these little, where the seals are, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. You could probably be a little bit more systematic than what I'm doing, but start with the inflate and deflate or any seals or open places you have and see how that's going right there. That's pretty, pretty big bubble. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some tenacious tape, which is used for like patching um, jackets, uh, tents, should be waterproof. I've done this before in my big Agnes sleeping bag. And last time I actually put like a little dot of crazy glue right over the hole and it seemed to help and work on that sleeping pad. So I'm going to wait for this to dry and then apply this with a little bit of clear tenacious Hopefully this helps, um, but we'll give you an update for sure. Right, because I'm a psychopath and I'm not gonna wait for this to air dry, I'm gonna take a hair dryer. All right, since it's a tiny hole, I'm actually gonna cut just a little square of tenacious tape. Um, not a little square, but maybe like an inch by an inch. And we'll see if that works. I'm actually gonna put a little tiny dot of crazy glue and then put the tenacious tape over that just for a little bit of peace of mind, but we'll see if this works. All right, so I ended up putting a little more crazy glue than anticipated, it came out. So I wiped out the excess and then threw the tenacious on there. Now we're gonna let this set for 24 hours and then we'll see how it does on our next camping trip. I plan on going for a one nighter this weekend um, in cold weather, so hopefully this fix helps. Uh, we'll update then.